a very strong X5.1 solar flare has just occurred at approximately 3.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or 10.45 UTC Time. A very powerful and extremely fast-moving Earth-directed CME is headed our way. As of yesterday evening, we had two back-to-back -back or cannibal CMEs en route to Earth that were due to impact this evening, um, plus or minus. With the launch off of this CME and it, the speed at which it's moving and the fact that it's very similar to how a boat goes through the water and it smooths out the water and creates the wake behind it, that area directly behind the boat is extremely smooth. It's not turbulent, which means that already fast moving CME is going to be at warp speed trying to catch up to those other two that were already at Cannibal CME headed our way for impact. I hope I'm wrong, but there's a strong likelihood that this could all impact tonight as a third Cannibal CME. I'm going to put a link down below to um, two other channels that I watch and follow on a regular basis. Formerly Suspicious Observers with Ben Davidson and also Stefan Burns. I'm sure they're working on updates right now as we speak. I woke up quite literally 15 minutes after this occurred getting ready for the day. And the first thing I do is I always check this as my updates for what's happened through the night. Coming to you pretty raw, um, not very much editing in this. Also, I would suggest follow the spaceweather.gov website uh, for further updates. I'm quite certain they will be doing a press briefing today regarding this and the potential impact. I would venture to guess, and I hope I'm wrong, but we will probably see, we will probably see extreme solar uh, space weather impacts. Um, my hope is that it's after the daylight hours that the sun has moved past, uh, whichever earth facing side is uh, daylight when this impacts is gonna take the brunt of it. Um, if you remember a few months back, that power outage that impacted France, Spain, and Portugal for about 48 hours, I believe that was directly tied to some solar activity that occurred and impacted their power grids. Again, I'm hoping that uh, the sun has gone down by the time it impacts, which will put it further out into the Pacific, uh, hopefully having less impact there. Um, I would encourage you guys to watch uh, Ben Davidson's uh, update from last night. He did about an hour long live stream. It should be up and available, but I would watch that, at least the first portion of it, where he does his update and you could catch his morning briefings. Uh, he'll have one here shortly this morning and then he has one from yesterday. That'll kind of bring you up to speed with what's been going on. And then Stefan Burns put out an update yesterday um, expressing some of his concerns and the potential for uh, mega quake activity, uh, specific, specifically in the Far East Pacific um, up around Japan. So if you're watching up there, uh, there was already a concern yesterday. I don't want to be an alarmist or um, a sky is falling, but I am definitely concerned. This has been a situation I've been monitoring for several weeks. Several weeks ago, we had a far side CME blast that was significant like this. And I almost did an update um, as like a test run just to have everybody, you know, test their practice and their preps and whatnot. However, this one I do believe has significant potential and I hope I'm wrong. Just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna be doing, once I upload this to give you guys all as much notice as possible, I will be filling up water containers, be stopping at the gas station. I will be topping off gas tanks in the vehicles, filling up fuel cans. I will also uh, filling up propane tanks. Another thing I'll do is I'll make sure we've got some cash on hand just in case uh, we do have any power interruptions um, or if uh, ATM machines are impacted. So those are kind of some of the things. It's time to practice what we've been prepping. So with that, I'm going to sign off and this is going to be quick and down and dirty. Godspeed and God bless. Keep prepping. Keep practicing and stay safe. American Thrivalist out.